Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, we got met the Skeleton. We fought the Skeleton, then we got the Skeleton. Uh, now we're going to head over to this door over here. I love that you can zoom in and this still actually like works as like a, uh, I guess a lot of games that do this have it still like more top down like this, like it just zooms in, but this one just zooms over the shoulder to allow you to see more. And I really like that. Anyway, let's go in. Okay. Rude. <laughs> Door's going crazy. Ooh. Okay. So these, I know this trap. That's too heavy. So basically, we want to go around this room. Exception successful. So basically, <laughs> I kind of want to show it, but I kind of don't. These vents dispense grease, and then there's these gargoyle heads right here that spew fire and blow up all the grease, and it's just a perpetual bullshit machine. And... Yeah, it's not fun. Everybody's rolling good. Yeah, see, it'll show us all the all the heads that are. I was like, there's four of us. Come on, we got to. Okay. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if there's any reason to do this. Better be careful not to trigger that thing. But regardless. A trap. Someone doesn't I am going to take these boxes. And I'm gonna cover the vents with said boxes because uh you can actually block the vents from dispensing the grease this way so that's fun i think that's good for now uh now you my good sir i'm gonna save this in case i fuck it up so hard that i have to do a bunch of other shit but you are going to disarm the trap. Okay, so he does have plus three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, go. Higher than the three. Thank fucking God. All right. Cool. So we did it. And we get the Watcher's Guide. The Spear. And an engraved key. So that's actually pretty fucking good spear for us, I believe. If we do that. So it has death's promise. When the spear misses its target, the wielder's next attack roll against that target gains true strike. And then true strike is... Uh, has advantage on attack rolls against this creature. So, so on his next attack, if he misses on his next attack, he gets advantage is basically the thing. It's four to nine. I think it's a little less than, oh, that's a maul. Is that two handed? Yeah, that's not the, uh, one I had. I had this one four to 13 is the damage for this one. Now it does this spear. Let's go examine. Uh, it's a spear thrown, versatile, can be used with one hand or both, deals more damage when wielded with both hands. Interesting. Rush attack. I'm going to rock this for now, just because I think it's cool. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, burning hands, dagger. Oh, we got the good armor. So... 15, 14. This one... Is this better than this? No, not really. 
kind of the same. And you can only wear light armor, right? This is heavy armor. Medium armor. Medium armor. Can he wear... Uh, how do I check his proficiencies? Okay, he's only proficient in light armor. Okay, interesting. So he can't wear that. Oh, well. So that's progress. Yeah, look at that. That looks cool. Spartan-esque. I like it. Okay, well, I think that's all this area had. Oh, wait, no. That's not all this area has, because there's still other things that aren't traps that I can loot. Like that. And this. I like that they path around, pathfind around the uh, vents. That saves me a lot of micromanaging. Okay. Well, we're done here. Do I need to camp? How are y'all looking? Ah, excellent choice. No, we're fine. On my way. Uh, so let's leave this place. Now we're going to head for town. Which should be not too far. Oh, you know what? I can actually... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I can go to the map. Can I go to bigger map? Camp? No. Damn it. <laughs> didn't mean to do that I like that the camp changes depending on where you are though like this is super cool I didn't see this last time and there's a door okay and the door has my chest okay good camp supplies put all those in there I can actually, uh, I'm encumbered now. I'm actually going to open that and put all that in here because the, when we camp, it should, uh, oops, it should pull from this. And I'm not really worried about it. So th I did get the Mask of the Shapeshifter. Cool. This comes with uh, some cosmetics for... Uh, uh, for the... I pre-ordered it. Or, well, I paid for early access, like, years ago. <laughs> and then we get this backpack, which the backpack is super useful. So I'm just going to put all this in here. I'm going to keep the potions. And then I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to put all my throwing weapons in here. So that's not one. Shield. No. Dagger I can throw. Uh, is his better... Dagger better, four to seven. I might as well do it because it looks cool. And then I'll take that one. And then these don't stack, right? Yeah. Another dagger. I will put the candle in there. Because the candle, you can... Uh, you can put it down and then you can dip your sword in it and... Make it on fire. Super, super cool. Little cheesy thing. And then all oh, this is crap. Rapier. Hmm. Would this actually be better for him? Is he proficient in... It says he's proficient, so I can go like that. Oh, I can't dual wield with it. Okay. Fair enough. I'd rather have the dual wield. And 
And then where's our backpack again? Open. So I have a bunch of shit I can throw. I will put the poison potion. I'll do that. I'll put the scrolls in there too. I'll keep the shovel out. Keep that out. Put that in there. All these daggers. Uh, these throwing axes. I will go put the javelins in there. And this will all make sense in a minute, I promise. I will move a torch to you. Or should I move it to him? Uh-huh. That's all garbage. Garbo, garbo, garbo. I'm sure I can mark this for whatever. So basically, when I do that, I come back over to him. I am going to get rid of all this. And I'm going to put the backpack on there for a single use. So now I click that. It opens up the backpack. I can do whatever I want with it. And then I'm going to sort by type. So if I'm in the middle of combat, I can just pull a javelin out of my backpack and throw it at a motherfucker. Which is hilarious. Uh, oh, there's one I forgot. Come on, go down. There we go. And then... So that's good, that's good. Isn't there a way to mark... Head to wares? Ah, okay. So is there a hotkey for that? Let me check if there's a hotkey. Well, fuck it. Okay, I've added everything to wares, so that'll make it easier to sell at the shop when I get there. Um, so we can... Am I still over encumbered? I am. So let me just... Move some of this shit. You can carry some stuff for now. That's good enough. Okay. So let's leave camp. Let's start heading towards the village. Uh, this away. Oh, what I was trying to do was I was trying to do this. Uh, overgrown ruins. So there are waypoints that you can fast travel with, which I super love. Okay, that's on the beach. So we were at this one. All right, back where we we got Gale. But now we've got a ton of shit. Oh, look at that torn fishing nest. Must have been here a while. Hmm. Not much use anymore. That's where we killed those tieflings. We're gonna keep going up here. Now, I've already fought this fight, so I know that we want to go... We should check it out, but be careful. Shouting up ahead, so... We're gonna discontinue everyone. You are gonna go stealth. Which I don't think is gonna matter. Actually, you... With me. You with him. Uh, let's stop hiding. Gale is gonna go up here. And then I am going down this way. Me and Shadowheart are going down this way. 
Let's save the game for real this time. <laughs> All right. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! By the nine hells! Open the gate! Get shit on. Provoke the blade and suffer its sting. Hey, it's Will. So, luckily, we rolled pretty high initiative, except for Gale all the way in the back. Um. So I'm actually going to go right up here. Have to keep going. I'm going to attack him. Nope, never mind. I'm going to shove him down with the rest of them. And then I will stop there. And then you, my good sir, are going to sneak attack. Get fucked. Cool. Then you are going to bonus action jump. Jump right there. That's good. You, good sir, are going to dash in. I have to keep going. I'm going to cast this on myself. Cool. Damn, he's fucking him up. Nice. Dumbass. Ayo. Yeah? Okay. I was like, what the hell is he doing? Two. <laughs> what the hell just happened there? Okay. My wizard man. Let's get some of this going, shall we? Who has the least amount of health? So you, you, you. Damn, it didn't kill any of them. Well. Hey, good shit. Can't hit her. Can't hit anybody, bro. That was good. That was smooth. Uh, let's go sneak attack on this guy. Well, can we go range sneak attack? Good shit. And then we can go... Sounds like fun. Bonus action offhand attack. Get that guy. Cool. I wonder if this is 
Good shit. Now my guy is going to... Hmm. What does Rallied actually do? Eight temporary hit points. Nice. So that guy's fine. That guy's a bit of a problem. I think I will take down that guy. Uh, I like the range goes down depending on... That's interesting. Okay. Sorry about that. Another interruption. This is why I don't stream. <laughs> uh, what the hell was I doing? This guy is my priority. So let me go... Hmm, let me go jump. Be right there. Now can I hit him with the bow? I can, but it's a disadvantage. And by like that, I mean 55%, not... Not real disadvantage. Just a disadvantage. Action surge! He fucking... Oh, I thought he had his own guy. That was funny. Um... Okay. You should probably get in there. I think using... Using some big spells right now would be good. We get right there. Uh... uh. Two turns. Hold on. Guiding bolts. Oh, okay. Next action has an advantage. That's okay. That makes sense. So let's do that. Let's do guiding bolt. Oh, that's 25% chance. I'll take this 50. And he's dead. And I'll shove this man. Probably not. That's fine. Nice. Damn. Little slippery bastard over there, dude. Damn, I can't get him. Maybe if I... Summon my mage hand up there? Maybe he can push him off. He broke my concentration on my shield. Okay. You... We're gonna get in there. We're gonna sneak attack this man. Oh, he does damage. God damn, he does damage. Mm hmm. I will probably. Can I command it? No, I can't. Twenty-five percent disadvantage. Uh, 55 still. I'm going to put Shield of Faith back on her. Just while I'm back here. I'm going to try to hit this guy again. Miss again. Cool, leveled up. Just this little shit up here now. Uh, let's do Guiding Bolt. 55%. If, well, no, he's got four health. Let's just sick and find him. Oh my god, dude, this fucking guy. Okay. And then let's go over here to help this guy. 
Can I do this again? And have double? I'm gonna do it just for... No, I cannot have double. Okay. Interesting. Was testing that out. Didn't know. <laughs> Come on, just snipe him. Thank you. Now you good, sir. You're gonna keep keep up there. You're fine. Uh, you. Uh. Not enough movement. I'll go right there anyway. I will throw... There's nothing to throw. I could have probably picked up one of those bodies and threw it at him. Oh well. He's dead anyway. That was the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! Alright. Before we do that... We got some motherfuckers to loot. Let's have a look. We gotta loot all these guys, then we gotta level up, and then we'll head inside. Haste. There's a javelin. Bugbear. So had another javelin. Oh fuck, I clicked her. Lazelle has a dangerous look in her eyes. Let's just hope she reserves those impulses for any common- I should talk to all these guys one of these days, but not right now. Uh, there's this guy up here. Let's actually group everyone up again. Now, it's time for a level up. So me... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know what to choose. Oh, there he is. So I got a spell slot, divine health, control dead, uh, control undead, and dreadful aspect. A menacing pulse to frighten nearby enemies. That's cool. Hellish rebuke and inflict wounds. I could take those, or I could take this one. I get sleep, fairy fire, fey presence, mortal rendering. Oh, remind <laughs> Mortal reminder. Uh... When you land a critical hit against a creature, that creature and any nearby enemies will su must succeed a wisdom saving throw or, or become frightened. So if I get a crit, everyone around them gets frightened. That's pretty cool. Cautious hideous laughter and dissonant whispers or this one. Dark one's blessing. Uh, when you reduce a hostile creature to zero hit points, this gift from your patron grants you four temporary hit points. So I get four temporary hit points for every guy I kill. It like tops it off. That's cool. Gain five temporary hit points and five cold damage to any creature that hits you with a melee attack. Oh, that's really good. Okay, we're going fiend. One fiend, we already have that one. Uh huh. I already have Hellish Rebute. Hex. Make your attacks deal one an additional 1d6 necrotic damage to the target and give it disadvantage on an ability of your choosing. That's cool. Like a witch bolt. That's a good one. So go with that one. 
I think I will go this one. That's pretty fucking good. Let's take a let's take a level in Warlock, shall we? Hmm. You, my good dear. Cleric level three. She gets her level two spells. Pass without a trace is good. Spiritual weapon, fantastic. I think that's good. Prepared spells. Prayer of healing. Ooh, let's take off. I don't need two damaging spells. I'll take that one off. And I'll go with... Uh, where the spiritual weapon. Big heal or spiritual weapon that floats along. That's pretty good. And then Gale. In two spells. See what spells I gain. So I have all these level one spells I could gain, or I can start in on a level two. Web, Shatter, Sea Invisible. Interesting. Scorching Ray. Girl, three rays of fire, each damning two to twelve damage. Wow. That's pretty good. Ray of Enfeeblement. Jesus. Uh, Phantasmal Force. Misty Step. I didn't know that was a level 2 spell. God damn. Magic Weapon. Interesting. Arcane Lock. Uh, Cloud of Daggers. Some... AoE. Oh, you can straight up just give them dark vision. Uh, I don't know if we need that this second. I think I'm going to go Scorching Ray. And Hold Person. That's pretty good. I'm good with that. Starion, do you get anything cool on level 3? Holy shit. Yes, you do. Subclass. Arcane Trickster, Thief, or Assassin. Assassin, you get uh, unprepared enemies in combat. You have an advantage on attack rolls against creatures that haven't taken their turn yet. Ambush... Surprise is a critical hit. Thief, you get fast hands, gain additional bonus action. Second story work. You've mastered the order of falling and gain resistance to falling damage. Or you can go Arcane Trickster. Or I gain a spell slot. Mage hand. And let's go see what cantrips I can get. Eh... He's not really a Wisdom or Institute uh, Intuition guy. I think we're going to go with uh, Assassin here. You immediately restore your action and bonus action at the start of combat. Oh, that's actually amazing. Yeah, we'll go Assassin. Cool. Never a dull moment. Okay. So... I think I'm going to call it there. I don't want to get into the city just yet because it's definitely going to be a fucking episode for the whole fucking thing. That's all that. Cool. All right. Uh, next time we're going to be heading into the city, we're definitely going to be selling some shit. Oh my God, I need to sell some shit. And we'll see where these go goblins came from and what's going on with them. I'll see you in the next one.